Hello, everybody out there in the land of make believe. This is the holier than hell, Reverend. <laughs> holier than hell, Reverend Bark Me Laughing Wolf, Submortal Cheerleader to the Apocalypse, Diabolical Minion of Good. And this is my uh, build diary. This is a build diary. I'm going to build a bike and I'm making it a video diary vlog in it. So I'm using my. Um, uh, what do you call it? My selfie camera. Hey. Hey. Hi there. Hi. Hey. <laughs> and I just have to remember not to look over there. Over there. Because then I see me. I go look here at the camera. At you guys. Hi, guys. Because when I look over there. Oh, I make face. <laughs> so, look at you. Uh, let's make it quick. So, what? Uh, it's, first of all, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's. It's uh, 10.30, and I'm at home with my cats, because that's how I do. Home with my cats, and uh, what happened was last week... Okay, so I got my rad wagon. I've been riding it for a year and a half. Put, uh, what, 8,000 and a half miles on it. Uh, but I've had to take off, uh, took off last winter entirely. Uh, got some good rain gear. I've been trying to ride all winter this winter, but I keep, what'll happen is I'll be riding on my way to work and then I'll get there and I'll be wet, be soaked and my stuff won't dry by the time I got to ride home and I don't want to put on wet stuff. So I take the bus, not once, but twice because I have to get back to work. I don't have my bike and the rad wagon is too big to put on the bike rack. So. It's a big bike. Also, if I have problems with it, it's a big bike. Just get it in and out of a doorway. That uh, a kickstand hooks on doorways. It's got a little little thing that sticks out of the edge of the kickstand. It hooks on every doorway. I go, my, my, my home door has a big chunk missing out of it because it just hooks every time. So uh, I really struggle with it. Um, and I never leave it outside. So I'm, I'm, every day I, I'm taking it in and out of doorways at least four times. Uh, plus I can't put it on the bus and when something goes wrong with it, it's a 75 pound plus wall of gear I got on it bike. <sighs> so I don't have it with me today cause I had to leave it at work on Friday because Friday morning it got so wet. There's just nothing I could do. It was saturated. So, and it was wet. I looked outside. I'm not going to be wet all the way home. So, so I don't have the bike. Uh, and, uh, so I couldn't use it all weekend and blah, blah, blah. And this and that, I got to bug up my bike to build, uh, got, I got to bug up my butt to build a new bike, a bug up my butt to build a new bike. Rubber baby, go buggy bumpers. Uh, and so now I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make this, um, video diary of the build. Oh, uh, so I'm hoping to have it done by April 20th. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that'll work. It, it'll be, it will go as I get money. And there's a few, a few, uh, I've got some, I've got some money coming in over the next few months. I just don't know how much it will be and what I'll be able to buy with it at the time. That makes sense. Does it make sense? I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so since, since Friday, I've been wigging. I, I get, I just get crazy about projects. So I, I've been, I've been just thinking about this project and I don't have any, um, I, I don't have any knowledge about bikes. I don't know about anything about bikes. Like what I've learned in the last three days is phenomenal compared to what I knew before. Cause I didn't know much. Uh, and if I'm building a bike from scratch. I'm going to have to know everything. I'm not going to build the bike. Uh, I have some guys build the bike. I'm going to watch them build them. I'll help them build it. Me and some guys are going to build the bike. <laughs> but uh i want to know i want to know what's going on so that i'll be able to repair it uh because i guess you know it's important to be able to repair your own bike for sure for sure and i've just been letting everybody else work on my red wagon and just kind of using it like like a car like a car take it in for service whenever it needs done so i want to know more about this bike and um I'm, I'm putting it together myself so here's my thing is that um i always wanted a uh uh corvette uh, 72 corvette stingray convertible you know with the blue uh paint with the with the silver flex in it yeah yeah i always wanted a corvette but i could never afford the uh penis reduction surgery so um i never got one 
And now I don't drive because I, I can't drive with other people because they make me crazy. So uh, I'm on a bicycle and I figure, hey, uh, if I can't afford a Corvette, I can certainly afford an e-bike equivalent of a Corvette for sure, for sure. If I try hard enough and I focus. So that's my plan is that I want to uh, I want to make a bike bike that's like uh, I want I want my my 72 Corvette bike with a V8 and big blower and dual cams chrome exhaust Anyway, so I have picked out some things, and, uh, and I'm going back and forth. I pick out some stuff. I go on my uh, groups. I say, hey, groups, what do you think of this? And there, they give me all the reasons why I can't have what I want. And then I go back. But uh, I'm narrowing it down. The process of narrowing it down has begun. And uh, 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 I've got some stuff on the uh, Internet here. Uh, that I'll show you as soon as I get it queued up. Oh, I hit it with my elbow. No, it's not. Okay, so uh, I want to start with this frame. It is called... Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, sorry about the video. <coughs> it's called... It's from Fat PH AT Fat Cycles. And this is the bomber, a seven-speed bomber. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want the tires. I don't want the fork. I don't want the handlebars. I just want the frame and the... What you call it? Chain guard. Frame and a chain guard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, raw, too. I don't want it painted. I want it raw. I'm going to see if they'll sell me one. Uh, just the parts raw without the paint on it. So I can put it together, paint it myself. I'm not going to paint it myself. I'm going to take it, have somebody paint it with the pinstripes. Uh, with the pinstripes. So uh, that, is the, um, that is the frame. And uh, then everybody said you're going to need... Um, you're going to need what? Suspension forks. You're going to need suspension forks. That's what everybody said. So uh, I was talking to people, talk to some other people, talk to some other people, and then finally these guys are, you should try these dual, dual spring. Dual spring. Dual spring. Here, got these. This is uh, uh, Monarch, Monarch with the K M A. Oh, there it is. Monarch. Monarch forks. Right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, those will look good. On that frame, that's pretty cool. I like that. But now I'm in my groups, and they're like, you can't put a fender on it, and I drive in the rain. <sighs> so I don't know how I'm going to get a fender on it. So all that together uh, with a motor. What kind of motor? Oh, that's where it gets just ridiculous or ludicrous. <laughs> yeah. So there's this uh, place called the Luna. The Luna. The Luna. The Luna Cycle. Luna Cycle. And they make uh, the bikes... They make the bikes and the motors. I don't think they... This is a Bafang. They do something. I don't know what they do. That's a Bafang motor, I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's Bafang. But they sell it, and then they do something to it, make it crazy. It says it says 750 watts, but uh, uh, it's 1,000 watts. I don't understand it. There's so many things about it. All this I don't understand. I got it broke down. They've got a lot of motors, and they've got a 3,000-watt motor. I'm like, I'm going to get the 3,000-watt motor. And everybody's like, no, get the 1,000-watt motor. And I'm like, but I want the 3,000-watt motor. I don't – there's four different 3,000-watt motors, but apparently they're loud, and they don't have a, a, a pedal assist. You have to use the throttle all the time, and there's all kinds of reasons. So I kept asking questions uh, after questions after questions on my different groups in the, on the on the Facebooks, and uh, – in the end, I got all of the answers I needed to go, okay, the reason why I need this and I don't need that and I can't use this and doesn't work with that. Uh, for instance, when I went on my, my group uh, just now to tell them how I love those forks, they're like, oh, you can have fenders with those forks. So I'm like, oh, I need fenders. So uh, uh, I got to have these groups uh, to narrow down all the parts as I find them. So the plan is to take the uh fat bomber frame and put uh, uh, some kind of suspension forks on it that'll allow me to have fenders, but the whole thing won't look stupid. Um, add that to what? Add that to what? Add it to what? Oh, add the Bafang BBSHD uh, mid-drive kit with the uh, ludicrous Upgrade, that's what they call their little upgrade, how they 
they hot rod it. It's a little ludicrous. <clears throat> and then what? Um, some 48, uh, no, I'm sorry, some um, 2.8 inch balloon tires. And uh, provided that I can keep it under 55 pounds without the battery and the wheelbase under 46 inches and the wheels under 3 inches, then I can use the bike rack on the metro buses. I don't know what you guys call them where you're from, but we got we have Sound Transit, we got Metro Transit. They all work together to take your money. So I not get you where you're going in the longest amount of time possible. Is the dog outside? Are you okay? Is that you? You barking? You barking now? All right. Uh, so, so I got if I, I if I'm going to get a new bike, I want one that goes faster, much faster. I just want to be able to go up hills. I don't want to bog down on hills because right now I'm I'm keeping pretty much a 16, 17 mile an hour uh, uh, average. But when I hit those hills, man, I go down to four, or six miles an hour, you know and I don't like it. I want to go up the hills faster. And I'd like to get home a little faster. Right now my ride's about an hour and a half to get 20 miles, and I'd like to cut that down. I'd like to cut it down. I want to cut it down. So I think that's it. I think that's all I got so far. Uh, I've I've contacted somebody on uh, the um, Craigslist, uh, a, guy, a guy in Ballard uh, who... Who says that he? Um, oh, he's retired. He does bike repairs for fun, I guess, in his retirement. Oh, anyway, I'm just looking for a consultant at the moment because I've been bugging my. I keep bugging my guys at the uh, G H Y Bike Shop in Renton here, my uh, local bike shop, and I keep calling them and I'm like, "Hey, uh, you near an internet so you can look at a bike I'm looking at and tell me if it's a thing I can do with the thing I want to do? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll look. So I want to be bugging them all the time, but uh, I'm, yeah, so I'm probably going to hire hire a consultant. And uh, I say, hey, I'm going to find out where he lives, send him a pizza, and then he can consult. Uh, but I will need somebody to help me put it together. So I don't know if I'm going to do that at the bike shop or if I'm just going to get a bro. A knowledgeable bro to do it for some some bucks on the side, a side job. Don't know, but that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I I like that frame. I like that fat fat cycle bomber frame. Uh, they he I've been told I can put some disc brakes, some hydraulic disc brakes on it, and a a, a cassette and uh. uh 2.8 inch tires and I might be able to keep it under the 46 inch uh, wheelbase for the huh, metro bus and put fenders on it. I'm like, yeah, this is me crazy. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I check in with you guys again, hopefully I'll have some uh, concrete build information and a uh, um, uh, uh, a price. I'm topping my budget off at uh, five thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. It's uh, stupid, but um, uh, I know that with it, with five thousand dollars, I'm going to be able to get a functional bike, a functional, reliable bike. Now, if I end up having to just buy a, um, if it comes to the end and I'm just buying another factory-made uh, fast bike, with Galuna's got a lot of already put together bikes, but man, I'd like something slick. You know, I'd like to put something together that just looks slick. Um, because that's how I roll. <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you updated if this is something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, ride safe, be seen. And uh, see you in my next review video, I suppose.